we have no, it. No, we it's we definitely somewhere. plan to have I all the. Yet. We okay. definitely plan to have all the community member cars and skins for them in the Acceladrome shot and also as playable vehicles. So you, JC, can play as the JC Diora 2 you know, in this game. You know it's going to be the ultimate strat. Is just play it's JC not going to be It's not going to be overpowered Straight at all, Straight to the end. <laughs> Once I'm, you play I'm this card, you win automatically. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're going to be an 888 Diora 2. Oh, you're going to be... <laughs> yeah, 888. when he plays his power rocket in any game. Pretty much. Yeah, the description is gonna be your ego has been boosted. You now your ego has been boosted. No, but you can also play overconfidence on this car for free. Oh <laughs> 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 Hello and welcome to the Square Corner Podcast. I'm your host, JC Squared, where I'll be interviewing guests from the Hot Wheels community and beyond. Today I have multiple guests of the world race speedrunning community. You gotta check this out. How are you guys? We're doing good. Uh, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, we're all alive, so that's perfect. We're here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I'm glad that y'all are alive and well, and that I am, you know, being able to interview y'all because y'all have some exciting stuff going on in the community. You're one of the yeah. bigger subgroups. Uh, and, you know, I think it's interesting, just in general, so many people love Hot Wheels World Race and Acceleracers. I just, let's ask, where did you find the Hot Wheels World Race um, slash Acceleracers? You know, how did y'all get into it? Uh, At a young age. <laughs> yeah, age. Uh, <laughs> le, I, yeah, kind I mean, of like 2003, 2004, I was into Hot Wheels okay. um, Highway 35. Mm. Yeah, pretty much, I mean, <clears throat> I started playing with hot wheels when i was real young you know in the 90s and you know i started playing the games pretty much on the 64 forward so mm. it was inevitable when they're like oh we're making a movie and i'm you know my my kid brain's like movie you know? yeah yeah movie yeah understandable exciting times right right valkyrie anything to add no, pretty much the same as everyone else. Just I always had Hot Wheels growing up. We grew up in a car family, so I had the stereotypical bucket of Hot Wheels. <laughs> and then <laughs> the, the layout <laughs> bucket of cars. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, here's then, your cars. It's right there on the right. All you and your friends have the tracks, and everyone else has yeah. their boxes, and you just go out and pull out a bucket. A bucket yeah, for Home Depot. <laughs> wheels. You got the you got the little car mat with all the little stuff on it. Me and my brother would always <laughs> yes. play on those, dude. Yeah. Spent hours down there playing cars. Dude, oh my lord, I I think I, it probably is in a box. I, re, I still have a few of those mats from, like, way back. Dude, so I, I, do have to, I do have to clarify for audio listeners, because you can't see who's talking on the screen. Uh, Enigma, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, so, uh, hi, my name is Will, or Enigmatic Will, or Enigma, or Egima, or whatever other name Wayman has decided to call me over the last couple years. Um... <laughs> I speedrun and uh, mod World Race, Suntrack, etc. Mostly Hot Wheels games. I'm programmer. I've been doing this stuff for a good while. And I've found a nice place here amongst uh, the Hot Wheels community. And it's been real nice being here. And i uh, got my good buddies here, Waltech and Valkyrie, who have also helped me do a lot of things and be supportive friends over the years. Mm. I'm just really glad that you got us all here. Yeah, no, I so. am too. Uh, Waltech, introduce yourself as well so people can maybe listen and hear your voice to know who you are. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, I'm Waltech. Uh, my whole name is Waltech G. Cray. Uh, I started speedrunning in about two, 2015, just to kind of give that mm. out away. I, okay. I was introduced to speedrunning from 20, uh, 2013 at AGDQ when there was the F0 GX speedrun of story mode on Very Hard. And I was like, wow, that's exciting. And that just introduced me that. to speed running. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> it was awesome. Gotcha. And, uh, yeah, and I just started learning some tricks on that game. I didn't get professional at that. I never submitted any times. Okay. Okay. That was the, was that the run with the Yoshi, Ma Yoshi Master? Yes, right? Yoshi Man. Yeah. Uh, no, Yoshi mm. Fan. And then Yoshi Fan. The yeah, Yoshi Fan. It was an awesome run. Oh, it was. It out. You haven't seen it. Okay. And... And that just introduced me to speedrunning, mm -hmm. and I started speedrunning in 2015 with um, something Will got surprised over recently. 
Lego City Undercover. Oh yeah, <laughs> the real the real Lego Man. You've lost your place, oh, Jason. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What is Anyway, but yeah, uh, he's, uh, he, he, he is our oldest member. I'm yeah. actually the youngest member because Valkyrie's in the middle. Yeah, which... I, w- I'm, I'm, well, I want to greet the second person to speedrun both Lego City Undercover and Hot Wheels World Race. Funnily enough, <laughs> he's got that on a badge, the silver badge. Okay, well, let's second let Valkyrie introduce himself before y'all okay, just d- drown him out. Goodness, <laughs> that's fine. They could drown me out all day, but we can. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm Valkyrie. Um, I've been running this game off and on for probably about four years now, four, almost five years. Oh my god, that's a long time. But wow. Yeah, I think you first started spitting speedruns in 2018, I believe. Yeah, that sounds about right. Jesus, this mm-hmm. has been a And I came in okay. at, what, the end of 2019, I think. Wow. Yeah, it was around the so... time Kirk pretty much took over. Mm-hmm. So the end of 2019. Mm-hmm. Mm. So y'all all have been in this community for quite a while, and I know mm-hmm. I don't know if y'all heard because it's the 20th anniversary of World Race now. Um, as fe- well yep. as soon as as far as the year is concerned, um, people always give me slack or not. They don't give me slack because I say, "Look, it's 20th anniversary, JC. It's not till June. Shut up, okay? We're gonna." The entire year is the anniversary. Year. You be quiet. Exactly. I'm gonna celebrate yeah. this thing for the entire. We're gonna celebrate on. this until the last day of this year. Exactly, exactly. World Race 24 7. um, I was. (laughs) So, um, because it's the 20th anniversary of World Race now, um, what significance has that sort of shown y'all? I'm old. Yeah. Yeah, kind of the same thing. (laughs) It's just like, wow, I'm so far from being a kid at this point in life. Yeah, I I, I can still. (laughs) I still remember. And this is going to date. This is going to be dating. Like, oh my lord. I can still remember. 2002 the the sh- like the ads on tv mm-hmm. you know i remember seeing it on tv and then you know they'd have the the world race track set stuff and you know you'd yeah. see it and it's like catch the 2003 movie on vhs you know and i'm like oh man so i mean that just that just goes to show just uh, you know that and then of course collecting the cars which is a big thing was walking into Kmart, which, you know, rest in peace, that don't exist anymore. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, going into, like, Kmart and stuff, I just remember seeing all the cars and growing up seeing that, and, of course, the VHSs and all that stuff. So, mm-hmm. it's just, like, it's just a time capsule for yeah. me. Like, thinking that it's been 20 years. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, for real. Um, you know, for me, it's just, like, I think the first thing I did for the New Year's, I was like, all right, I have to make the logo. I have to make a 20th anniversary logo that we can all use at some point. So I'm just super excited, you know. I'm like, I wish Hot Wheels would do something. I know they probably won't. <laughs> Knowing Hot Wheels. Knowing what's up, probably not. Yeah, no, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I mean, we can be hopeful. Much, but, uh, they'll make a tweet saying 20 years, yay. Right, right, right. So we'll just have to wait and see. But, you know, let's talk about what you're really here for. Is that when did y'all play the Hot Wheels video games first? You know, what, what got y'all started in the video games? Because, of course, for me, I've loved them since I was a kid. What about y'all? <laughs> I mean, yes. I mean, like I said yeah, earlier, I, I, I grew up on it. I think I got my PS2 copies of Stunt Track Challenge and World Race right here. So these oh, are wow. amazing. I love the PS2. The PS2 is my favorite version of uh, both of these games. I know they're, I mean, I think it's crazy. They, they release them on PC. PlayStation, Xbox, and GameCube, which is insane. Well, actually, Stunt Track's not on GameCube, is, and is World Track Race not is not on Xbox. Yeah, something to clarify about that. Yeah, wow. World Race is not on Xbox. Stunt Track is not on GameCube. Something I actually didn't know. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. And the PCs are just something new every yeah, day. The PC versions for both games are just ports. Well, at least for for stunt track it really wasn't because they built the entire game on ps2 and then mm. they ported them over to xbox and pc but we'll get into that later probably interesting okay hmm. so you know why speed run them you know i don't i'm not a big speed runner myself you know i don't really understand it but i love watching speed run stuff you know speed run content random stuff about mario 64 or i think uh just it's just super random stuff you know anything there's a speedy there's a guy named speedies or something and he just literally speed runs every single type of game you could think of you know what wanted why did why world race (laughs) 
Uh, the main re I can answer this for myself. The main reason I started speedrunning World Race was because, um, in twenty eight or a little bit before that, actually, when I started running, I was trying to do like some glitch on Vapor City to clip through the loop. I think some people might know what I'm talking about. Or what I'm trying to describe, but you can just go next to the wall and you can just clip through the loop and just not bother going for the double loop or triple loop mm, there. Okay. And I was trying to do that with a different car. Because some of the cars I was interested that people were doing it with, uh, I didn't like. So I was picking a okay. different car, Road Rocket. And I figured, let me try the handbrake just to see what happens. And that's where I found out about shuffling in the game. Which is what we call that glitch of just going stupid fast. Uh... Yeah, that is the speed so tech is just... shuffling. Which yeah. is how I got pulled into it. Now, like, before World Race, I mean, I speed ran other racing games. Like, I, I like time trialing. I've, I always, as a kid, even, like going through you know as the consoles and games kept coming out i'd always play racing games and time trial and you know it's pretty much speed running but once i figured out there's actual leaderboards online not just in the game and you could submit stuff yeah. you know i had recorded stuff back in the now again i'm gonna sound old but i used to use a dazzle if anyone knows what that is oh yeah i have one of those still so. yeah so i actually recorded some of my first ever videos on youtube with that yeah hmm. i used to i used to YouTube channel. I used to record stuff with a dazzle and submit it to these forums, like, you know, speed demos, archive forums and stuff for, like, older Ooh, games. Yeah. And, uh, well, we're talking, like, Gran Turismo and, like, Burnout, mostly Burnout. Mm. And, uh, one day, you know, I started, I started stop like, I stopped playing racing games for a while. And I went to, like, shooters, because that's, you know, I like platformers and shooters as well. But yeah. as... You know, all my friends, we got older and going into high school, you know, that's what everyone was doing. And I kind of fell off of doing racing. But then one day I just decided I'm going to come back and play some old Hot Wheels games because it's been a while and I streamed it. Mm. And I was curious to see, you know, what is the speedrun tech for this game? Because, you know, it seems interesting. And I looked it up and I picked it up within two days. And I was already getting pretty decent times on the leaderboards. And the world record holder at the time, Master Couric popped in and hit me up and sent me a link to the server and then from that day forward i became a part of the speedrunning communities for both world race and eventually stunt track hmm. so wow and then valkyrie uh i don't remember, you told me but what was it that you how did you eventually get in it <clears throat> i forgot how it essentially i came in but i think i was just on a speed run kick or i was watching <laughs> i think it was Bonesaw's GDC of um, uh, Dr. <laughs> Daxter. Yeah. I'm like, okay, was this is what the Q speed... Six, was that from 2014? HGD yes. Q? I think that was, yeah, the infamous one. You, the inf you'll no, know which one it is. 2017, uh, I thought. No, no it is 14. 20, no, 2014. It's 14 or 7. Yeah, it's one, it's one of those. It's yeah, one of them, but you'll know the one. The the infamous one that got a ban for a little bit. Yeah, which but I'm still sad. I, like I am still sad, dude. Oh, dude. That makes me so sad. <laughs> But I was, like, look, it's like, okay, what's some old stuff I can speedrun? Because, like, Jack and Daxter's like, there's too much for my little baby brain to handle in there. That's so, a lot. That's a, whole, <laughs> that's a lot, yeah. And so I'm just like, okay, maybe eventually we'll work our way up to that. But I've always been a racing guy. I've done a lot of Forza Motorsport 4 drifting, if you know, you know. And I was always really good at that. So I'm like, okay, let's try some, let's try some different racing games. Then I saw Waltech's video on shuffling. And it's essentially just like speed drifting. I'm like, oh, oh, this is perfect. And I always enjoyed the movies as a kid. All right, let's do this. Uh, so I went in and pretty much from there just kept running. Eventually, it was first on a GameCube emulator because I which are had now no banned. way to grab any fo footage from anything. So I was just doing that on an old laptop. Then eventually when I built my new PC, I'm like, all right, I'm getting back into it. And mm -hmm. a couple more times, kind of like, Played for a couple months, took like a year or two hiatus, always stayed in the server and tried to talk when I could, and did a lot of the first texture mods too, mm -hmm. um, which that's something we'll get into. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to get into that, yeah, later on, later on, because um, I want to ask, you know, first off, how long have y'all been speedrunning each? I know y'all y'all said it, but just give me a quick number for, for each of y'all. Waltech, probably what, six or seven years, Valkyrie about four or five, and me about three three is, maybe four coming up soon that's so crazy it's crazy that i only found y'all last year in terms of like this whole community i only mm -hmm. found it last year i don't remember how i found it 
Um, it's in, found you know, you say that, and it's crazy because I've heard of your name as well, like in the last <laughs> couple of years, but I never really, personally, I never really got deep in the Hot Wheels, you know, community, like mm-hmm. within like YouTube and stuff. Because let's let's be real, a lot of it is just kind of con- like conglomerate conglomerated together as just a bunch of people posting whatever they want. So it's I kind of just didn't really bat eyes to a lot of it and look for big people to follow. But you know, uh, our paths crossed, and then here we are. You know, it's crazy, yeah, and I've yeah. got to meet you and a ton of other really cool people in the community, like like modelers and other modders, and mm-hmm. like you know people who like Valken, Waymint, Kenobi. Yeah you know, other people like spoilers and, you know, just tons of other really, really cool people that I never thought I would meet or talk to, you know, cause I'm just a speed runner, but here yeah. we are, no, you know, yeah, and I've been a part that. of tons of other projects. Like, you know, I was in GRX every, maybe that's I, what the connection was because I, was I think it was probably GRX. GRX. I was super into GRX. I love that. Yeah, I got pulled into GRX because they needed other people for programming, mm. and they didn't know a lot of people who could code because they had the modelers, they had everything else, but it wasn't yeah. on, they didn't have enough coders. And then through mutual friends, Alex got in touch with me and pulled me in, and I worked mm. on GRX. And then we all we all know how things went there, and right. unfortunate, but you know I enjoyed it, and I got to meet tons of people you yeah. know including you and i think that's where we met yeah that that might have been the the connection there was that fan game um, and there's there's tons of other like games as well that i speed run that i don't have connections to and as much anymore like i speed run what star wars episode one pod racer if you've played <laughs> that you know how fun that game is Man, that's uh, old. I that's old. yeah i actually still have a record or not record but i have one of the fastest non like non-optimal times on one of the leaderboards that only i think three or four people have ever done which is complete a track doing the hardest skips three laps in a row and i did it with this considered the slowest character in the game and i'm still like fourth oh man wow and it still beats and it still beats everybody else that only did it two laps by like 30 seconds because Mm. it is so hard to do these tricks that's interesting that's the one and only run of that game I've ever submitted because it, I was so proud of that. But I do it yeah. with my other friend just kind of casually. I also used to speed run Hat in Time back on console. Oh, I love and Hat that. And that was Time. very fun. I never did the whole game, just individual level runs. Ah. And for the people who don't know, or if you know, you know, they actually had a speed run event for that game, like hosted by the devs. And you could get a custom hat with a speed run timer on the hat. I did not that know ca- that. And I have it on oh. console. I have it on console, That's sweet. and uh, you had to participate in the event, and I have it, and it's really cool. Unfortunately for me, my PlayStation Drive broke years ago, and when I tried to re-download my saved data, I lost it. And unfortunately, Aww. that save, the the hat was only on the save file that you used. Yikes! So, because they gave you a unique code, and I'm like, ah, oh, and it's I lost co- it. It's not, it's not uh, updated to the cloud, huh? You didn't. You didn't. Say no, no, I had it on the cloud, but the, the data was corrupted. It should, uh, like, I'm not gonna. This, just, I'll just. We'll figure it. You'll figure it out. I, it, look, so I, I I'm not that worried about it, obviously, but it's just one of these things where, man, I wish I still had that save. Yeah. But mm, I know. I mean, I who? Well, I mean, shoot. I've known people who deleted their save file on accident, wiping their games on PC and losing the hat. Oh wow, that's so. Crazy. Well. <laughs> Anyway, let's talk about those anyway, strategies, yeah. you know, those those tricks and everything you're talking about. Um, because there is a bunch of new strategies that have evolved in the World Race speedrunning community. Obviously, oh, man. It's been seven years or whatever. Now, you were first talking about one of the tricks, which is um, – I forgot what it was called. Already. Shuffling. Yeah, Shuffling. Walter, yeah. you, that's you, you give like, the, that's you give the like brief. The main, yeah, basically, shuffling is – in World Race, a glitch in the game where if you do a drift while you're boosting, you'll for some other, some reason go much faster than the game intends, mm. which the game usually expects you to go at about 199 miles per hour usually or 200. Yeah, the cap and... is the cap is 199, but the, the the speedometer can register 200, but really it's capped at 199. Yeah, but yeah, that's basically the main gl- trick in the game is. Shuffling, which is, which uh, and has it has been pretty much stayed in the runs every run. It's the staple since. thing. Like it's yeah, that is it's, like the quintessential movement of the game. Like yeah, 
Like if I said, you go if back you and watch runs from when it was first discovered from Waltex time, it's like, yeah, you know... I barely it's... did anything because I didn't know much about it. <laughs> yeah. So you see me just, like, letting go of the handbrake because I'm like, oh, I'm lined up with the track. And not knowing, oh, if you keep holding it, you'll ne- maintain speed a lot better and you <laughs> go really, really fast. That's funny. Yeah, now pretty much the, it's so optimized where we're resetting if we're not getting, like, the exact speed off of a pad now. Mm. Like, that is how optimized the, the runs are getting, like... It's just something... recently, the ta- something... the theoretical best task was actually beaten from three years ago. A task run that was made back when the strats were pretty good was just recently beaten. And theoretically, we can go even further, like what? I think 20 seconds, Drew said, that we still could push it, theoretically. Um, I think the community summer best Drew showed was about 10 or 11 seconds faster than okay. the old task, I believe. Oh, yeah, than the task, yeah. So... It's crazy. I mean, Valkyrie probably has more insight than me because when I showed up, it was already pretty well known and optimized. Mm -hmm. Obviously, tricks were still being discovered, but uh, Valkyrie, what? When you showed up, it was it was pretty already in the game. Like it was being used more. Yeah, like we had started to like kind of figure out the full potential of it, like as I joined. So, like, we, we had known about it for a little bit, but it's just, like, how far can we push it? And, like, how you can essentially control the car to mm. spin around to maintain speed, really. It's, like, how long can you really hold the handbrake and keep getting speed? Because yeah. holding the handbrake and turning, you'll just pretty much gain speed up to almost, like, 400 with certain cars. Wow. So mm-hmm. it's just, like, how yes. far can you push it? Now this is some like this can, is... can even reach up, up to 500 for some vehicles. Yeah. So this is really glitching the game in order to do these high speeds. So you're 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 breaking into the speed boosts, right? If you or want something. to be technical, it's not a glitch, it's an oversight. Um... Uh I'll keep this brief because I know most people won't understand what I'm saying, but I'll try to give you like the Good 1 idea. minute wrap up. <laughs> okay. Essentially, the game has two different states. You have a driving state and a sliding state most people say oh there's a drifting state but in essence that's not true the sliding state and the handbrake state are pretty much the same but the only difference is that in the handbrake state the game locks your back wheels Mm. and when the back wheels don't have any power to them only power is on the front wheels meaning it's only turning um when your speed is at a low enough speed, which is like five miles per hour, then you'll be able to drive with it. But you had to be that slow. If you're anything higher, the game just fully locks your wheels. Now, when you hit a speed, when you hit like a speed pad or use your nitrox, what happens is the game's boost mechanic sends you forward uh, and you enter what's known as the boosting state, which is just kind of normal driving. But now the game locks your position to forward for whatever duration the boost is with all the cars and the pads. It's different. Mm. So there's two different types of pads. You have like speed pads and you have basically speed pads that care, that go across the, the whole track, which well, we, we don't really call those pads. We, we call them pads, but they have a different name. Mm. But hitting those have a two second timer versus the normal pad, which is only a time based around what your boost of the, the boost time of the car is. So whenever the the game tries to calculate your speed, if you're sideways when hitting a pad, if you have the handbrake held, your trajectory gets recalculated because it has no grip on the tires, so it slides you. So if you hit it sideways, hit the pad, it will send you forward, but because your grip was lowered, it tries to reset your angle back to facing the direction you were, Mm. and that quick readjustment is actually what gives you all of your speed. Oh, okay. And that's, that is the essential way of how it works. There's way more in-depth technical stuff, but that is your We don't want to go that far. Into yeah, that's, that's as much as I'm going to say. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I think you lost some people already. Oh, yeah, yeah I know. No We've already, well, we got like If you want more explanations watching. in depth, please join the World Race <laughs> server and check out the tech videos that's that not, we have. It, look, that's not, we're not supposed to talk about that until the look, end. Look, it's, it's the, a good segue. Anyway. So <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Work. What categories do some of these speedruns consist of? Because World Race isn't necessarily like a, you know, it's not a, it's not real, I don't know, it's not like a Midnight Club or something. It doesn't have a story mode. It's just sort of It's there. leagues. 
yeah, yeah. it's literally Leaves. just race that's it yeah and yeah it's just yeah. like here's a race go do it right so like yeah so we have league mode Ironic which is the game boy advance game has a story sort of <laughs> sort of but we don't really the gba is completely separate from what we do right yeah so fun fact about the gba game off topic but fun fact it was actually made using the original f-zero game on the gba because there's still leftover code huh fun fact Neat. anyway That's same devs too of- does explain a lot of things as to why it looks so similar to a mode stuff in game like F Zero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, cool. so we have we have league modes, which is if you've played the game, you know what league is. It's uh, yeah. tracks in order, yeah. get the best score, you win the league. Mm-hmm. So we have league speed runs, which are the main leaderboards, and then we have individual levels, um, and those are split up from quick race and time trial. So time trial, obviously, there's no rings, so you won't have mm-hmm. nitrox. And they're also, all the shortcuts are open. So the routes are way different. Some tracks are actually faster and slower depending on if you're doing quick race or time trial. Interesting. Yeah. Because in quick race, we have the rings for nitrox. So you can get more nitrox burns everywhere. Well, Tech, you were saying something? Yeah, you were saying? Uh, I was just going to say that, yeah, just usually, I was just going to say that usually the later tracks in the game, like the veteran and elite league tracks, I think we found out that time trials, you can get a faster time on that, on time trial modes on those tracks yeah. than the earlier tracks when in quick race It makes mode. sense, too, because they have faster um, shortcuts. Shortcuts. Yeah, yeah they have faster shortcuts. shortcuts. Quote, they're, they're unquote shortcuts. We don't talk about two of them. There are two tracks, which, uh, when we talk about it on, like, marathons or streams, there are two tracks that have quote-unquote shortcuts, but they're actually longer than the original route, the, the uh-huh. base route. Yeah, I may a joke sometimes that, yeah, they just tested it to make sure you could drive on that. That's yeah, like... the, they tested this game. Yeah, that is interesting. <laughs> you can drive on this, right? Okay, perfect. Time for lunch. Yeah, that's yeah, basically. Yeah, they're lunch that lasted eleven months. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know we know that like the development cycle of World Race wasn't the best. We heard that it's big crunch time, very dramatic. People were making fun of each other inside the code. You know. Oh some, yeah, some in the like that. the code oh, has oh, so no. my god the code. Dude, there are so many, like, complaints and jokes and stuff in the code. Like, whoever Mark is, we know who Mark is, but whoever Mark is, man, they don't like him. Mark, this doesn't work. Mark, this isn't working. Mark, why is this not working? Like, there's even a completely ripped AI mode where the AI are completely unbeatable, and I actually have modded that into the game. And, man, it is it's oh, yeah. something else. Oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. I'm not going to say what the name work. is because uh, no swearing, but... Yeah, okay. th- that's in there. Wow, that's crazy. Um, yeah, there's tons yeah. of stuff in the in well, the in the game code. <laughs> let's get back to the speedrunning real fast because, um, what is a good benchmark for fast times? Because like, if someone was trying to get into it, right, how do they know they're getting a good time? It's uh, I would it say it's, it depends on like uh, the track. Well, yeah, and depends on the track, and also depends on their skill level. Like, if they've been here for a long time, then mm-hmm. yeah, I'd say that you probably are expected to be like like a top three or top four time, whatever that is, depending on the track and the mm-hmm. uh, league you're playing on. Yeah. It just really depends on skill level and just the tracks you're playing on. Mm. Really, if you want to be, if you want to be like, just have a dead deadpan answer of what would be a benchmark for us, the main benchmark we look and to see like how you're doing skill wise is rookie league. It's the first league. It's got all, you know, six basic tracks. Yeah. And if you can get a sub 12 minute rookie time, then that is a benchmark of okay, you are pretty good. I mean, mm-hmm. the world record is in the 1120s. Yeah. Uh, when I started, the world record was 1144 or something. So yeah, that, that was, was, you know, three years ago. So you show we've only pushed it 20 more seconds with extra small, you know, movement tech and skips and yeah. well, not really you skips, found but just small. Optimizations on the tracks. Yeah, we found optimizations. I I can say I found one new strat on one track when I was doing ILs. So, yeah. Yeah, it's something. Yeah, I held the world record on that track after grinding it for three hours. Oh, and never wow. held it again. That's yeah. crazy. So what's what's a world record look like then? Let's say, let's say the hardest league, right? What's a world record? Elite league. That? Elite league. Oh, yeah. I don't know off the top of my head. It's 40. Uh, it's a 41 minute flat. 41, 41 minute, minute flat right now. Wow. Yeah. And you know what's crazy is it could have been a sub 41, but 
the record holder drew, he he made one slight mistake and lost like one second. Mm. And that's all it takes. So um, I do want. There's ask. still a ton of optimizations though. That that yeah, thing can be yeah. pushed pretty far. I was just wondering, is there a way to skip levels in the leagues? Like you know, nope. like how people Not really. do. No. That's you, have to, you have to. Play you have to do everything. Tracks. Like, there's no way to yep. glitch it. And uh, interesting. So it's nope. not like. And it's... even if you could, we. It, it's a rule that you have to play every track. Okay, so y'all have that as as one of the rules. And was, there yeah, really is no way to to skip levels. Like, you'd have uh, to alter the game code for that to happen. Oh, okay. If it was, was found to be the case, then yeah, we'll add an any percent category oh, or something. Oh, okay. But Probably that's... most likely, yeah. Yeah, because I, you know, like most platformers, like they always have ways of skipping levels, right? Uh, yeah, Myers, but this one's for zero thing. stars, so that you don't the have way... to play for like <laughs> what forty-five minutes. Forty minutes is a long time, right, for a speedrun time. Just do it yeah. in five. Just do it in five, bro. <laughs> I mean, most people run rookie league nowadays. Like the later tracks don't get touched as much unless it's for like ILs. Mm. I mean, we'll still have a couple of people run them here and there, but most people are just focusing on rookie league right now. I rookie and vet, I'd say. Elite's not as yeah. much because that's a forty-minute run. Yeah, 45 yeah. minutes. And keep wow. in mind, that's in-game time. So right. Right. Time, right. that's probably like 50 minutes plus or something. About an hour. That's crazy. Yeah. You know, and then like, uh, there, there's, you know, you remind me, there's this old saying, and I, I have this, um, I had it pinned somewhere that I always would tell people like, speed running, speed running, this is like speed running mentality, is people spend a lot of time playing games so they can spend less time playing games. <laughs> and i, I just think comments. about that all That's the time funny and clever that is and you know you talk about skipping levels funny enough world race at least vanilla wise has only one like skip on one track and it saves five oh, seconds yes Spirals. that's it there is no there is no other track in the game at least as of now that has any sort of track skipping hmm. where you can like jump from track to track but mm. that's only in vanilla. Mm. So interesting, interesting. Well, let's talk about the community because we did talk about them a little bit. You know, they're getting world records and stuff. And I know last year I had reported on people going in person to an event, like to an actual speedrunning event, running world race. Yeah, I marathon. Just find that just that's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, oh man, like that was kind of the dream of a lot of the old runners and old members was we wanted to get the game into the limelight a little bit more, but it just never hit that. It never hit that like peak moment. And then one person showed up. Um, her name is pro ASIC and she really doesn't run the game, uh, as much. She's more or less just interested in the game and its progression. And she really likes it, uh, the community and we like her a lot. Yeah. We jokingly call her our community manager. <laughs> Because she's <laughs> yeah, always posting about events and all this stuff because she manages, uh, like, marathon events. Oh, and wow. Because she does that, she got us into our first event, and now we've done ten of them. What? Uh, I've, I've yeah. commentated three, and all of them have been run by Bengals except for, I think, one, which was yeah, a race. one was done by Proasic. One was a Proasic, and UK. then – oh, yeah, that, yeah, and then we had one where Drew and Bengals raced, and Drew's game crashed. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, so it was just basically just Bengals, sadly. So you can yeah. really see, like, Drew, who is by far the way the best the, – pretty much at this point the top player in the game. He is the current best player at the game. Yeah, mm. he's like – Drew has – I remember when I brought Drew in, because uh, he's a good friend of mine – and I, I met him through other mutual friends doing other games. And he got interested in World Race because Goofy Car Go Fast. <laughs> and, yep, pretty much. And, and then within the span of six months, he was contesting World Record yeah. because he grinded so hard. That's Surpa crazy. The, the master has surpassed – or the – what is it? The What's the saying? The young the young Link has surpassed the master or something, something, something like that. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. Close enough. You remember when I said I held that record for three hours? Yeah, Drew's the one who beat me. <laughs> <laughs> so I took it from the, the old record holder Couric, Master Couric, and then Drew beat me, and then Couric beat Drew back. And as of right now, no one's beaten Couric again because uh, that time is so solid. Like he almost has no mistakes on that run. Mm, mm. 
And just so people can be aware, Master Kirk is the former world record holder in the game. Basically, dominated. pretty much the grandmaster. He he dominated everything that was to be world race speed running. He mm. held every IL record. Yep. He, had held, he held every league record. He even held the dumb challenge mode world record. A that, mode that, that, that is... I feel like we should just delete because no one runs it. <laughs> it's <laughs> no, it's no, it's no, history. We're... No, it's we're history. bringing it back now. We're bringing it back. 2020. Yeah, we're, we're gonna bring it back. <laughs> back challenge mode. Okay. Dude, I'm pretty versus, sure it's not beatable. Me versus Drew. Challenge hey, look, mode. If it's Tomorrow night. Hey, look, if you teach me some of the strats, maybe even I can get it. All right. Challenge mode was yeah. kind of sucky, honestly. Challenge nah, it's the, the challenge mode is a miscellaneous category, and most of it is menuing. Yeah. In tutorial. It's it's so dumb. Like, dee 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 don't even know why it's there. <laughs> They but, be yeah. Trick just thought it should be there. Yeah. Well, but yeah, rest, you is, know. he's a uh, super. Uh, Espeletric, a super wire sunshine speedrunner, was actually the first runner to speedrun Hot Wheels World Race. He didn't do Whoa. any shuffling at all. At all. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mario Sunshine. Well, oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. There's Bad. tons of other just runners. Did a, that... Just as a joke. <laughs> but what, ah! what have we had? We had SB runs. We had Silent Motorboat. Any Gima, Darko. Uh, a ton of other runners who's come and gone, overdrive. like fit. Overdrive. Yeah, Overdrive, the the god himself from uh, wow. Velocity X. Yeah, he actually oh, he actually hold the world record for rookie league for a little bit. And yeah. that's because I kind of stopped running at that point when he took it because I was just feeling burnt out at that game of the game at that point. And obviously now I'm running it more often. <laughs> yeah. Because, and you mentioned you yeah. mentioned a collapsed as well, and then come some people Last... who came and gone like. Phaser and Fanta and Aurora. a couple other people. And who? Aurora. Oh yeah, Aura, Aura Ace. Ace. Oh yeah, Aura Ace. Aura mm -hmm. Ace, the the big uh Sonic speedrunner. Same with Kurik. That's when they both came over. Yeah. So you and know, now they're they're done. You know what's interesting is this sounds like one of those episodes of those speedrunning history uh what is it? Videos yeah, that, summoning you know, salt, they, dude. We gotta get the summoning go, salt music. They go <laughs> from here, and then they're like, and then there was a breakthrough, and then the timer goes down to yeah. you know later. I can't but remember then, what, what, nothing is that happened. Salty something salt. Yeah, summoning salt. Something salt. Yeah, summoning salt. Summoning uh, salt. One summoning of the salt. Summoning salt. salt. Yeah, huh. yeah. I love his videos. So yeah. yeah he just released a new one content. actually okay. on Lego, the Lego Star Wars. He just yes, released a new one. Yes, that's the one I watched. A... That's right. Man, that was watch, a banger yeah, video. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I he haven't fully watched that one yet. I need to though. We definitely oh, it's gotta really have him good. Be the one that uh, does a whole thing, or maybe I'll have to do it and just do it in his style or something. Yeah. Because that's sort of how I had to do it. I just copy other people that are bigger and then be like, yeah, hell, look, back, look at this little hey, niche man, over here. Hey, man, people call it niche. copying, but you know what they say is mockery is the greatest form of flattery. That's true. So. That's true. Um, but, yeah, check out Summoning Salt if you guys haven't. He's yeah. very good at speedrunning, uh, very good at speedrunning history essays. stuff and yeah, all and that stuff and, and essays. good stuff, you know. I love it. Um, would y'all ever be interested in, let's say there was a hosted um, event by a community member in person? Like a LAN event? Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. Like if there was like a world race tournament. You know how like oh, absolutely. does it, but just don't be in California. Scale. You don't be. <laughs> yeah, if we can do it at home, at home, that'd be perfect for me. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, it would be interesting though. Let's say, let's say, but... um, we get permission by Hot Wheels, right? Let's say we get like, um, Hot Wheels on board, and we go to, um, one of the collectors' conventions, Texas. right? Texas. Well, I don't know about Texas, but I would Texas love Texas. Texas is pretty Texas. much in the middle. Like, but, in, yeah, but they don't know, do anything in Texas. Uh, let's say, okay, let's say the collector's convention, right? They have a collector's convention in a like hotel. RLC? Um, yeah, well, they do everything, right? So they have, like, all sorts of stuff. They have people selling. They have people buying. They have a whole, um, you know, they have the designers there signing autographs and everything. So if we were able to get, like, a tournament at one of these events, um how would how would y'all feel about that because i feel like that would be cool but it would be i would need to know the details on it but yeah. i'd be so down and i know yeah. tons of other people would definitely be down. plus it'd be mm -hmm. a really good opportunity for us to all meet up yeah and oh, then yeah. it's also at an already officially sanctioned hot wheels event that sort of just 
was because you can do the tournament in someone's hotel room surprisingly that's how they sell yeah is everyone gets a hotel room right in the hotel yeah, if we're doing it for money don't invite drew because he'll just win <laughs> oh, no, yeah. uh, drew you're we're giving not drew invited. too many I'm very handicap. sorry but if you're listening to this i'm so sorry drew you were just weren't invited somehow uh it got lost Dude, the, in the rsvp mail. must have got lost <laughs> lost in the mail oh, was, i would say something but i think that would break your rules that you asked us to not say so i'm not please gonna say don't it. break the rules thank you don't very much but doc <laughs> Rules are not meant to be broken on my podcast. Okay? Yeah. So, because... Because <laughs> nice I'm going to move on. Because that was really Boys. good. I actually... I, I will keep that in mind, especially about events and community events. Because I know one of the other ones that I would love to have done well, is a card game event as well. Card oh, absolutely. Oh, video game was... speedrunning tournament, Ooh. you know. Or just... Well, you know, I want to say racing. this. If if we if that somehow happens, it would definitely have to be sorted out because we would all probably recommend everyone use PCs, and I don't think Mattel's gonna or Hot Wheels is gonna want to you know supply twenty PCs or how yeah, many. Yeah, I think need. you would have to do yeah, some type of laptop thing. I think you would have to do laptops or something, and then something. Because even yeah, streaming it, I mean, if you were to stream it, that's now, I'm a, definitely not bringing my entire tower thing. with me wherever it is. No, no, but like to stream it, you would need two laptops. You know, one to uh, record stuff maybe or and then one to have like the stream going you know where it's in person or something like that logistics wise i think it's possible um same like it's with trying it's to take a the, lot of effort but yeah, we can do it yeah, and especially same with, with trying to do the card game is very finicky on pc mm. we would need some time to sort <laughs> everything out because yeah. one thing can oh, happen yeah. and oh, yeah. every single machine will crash within five seconds yeah well what if, yeah. It, what if it was just this what if you just had people play four player right and then you know, have like a crazy race, just go all out. You know, on okay. Uh, so first thing, getting four player multiplayer on PC is impossible. I said PlayStation, PlayStation. Let's say. Oh, right. okay, oh, PlayStation. PlayStation. Okay, right. PlayStation. We're using a PlayStation. I mean, do you have do you have the big V uh, like controller thing? What what the what were they called yeah. again? Yeah, I got one. The one player oh. I got my guy. I have every PS2 thing imaginable. I was a PS2 connoisseur, except for the internet thing. Because I pretty much, match. I think, ah. well, you don't have that. You don't have the adapter, ah, oh, bro. Why do you need an internet adapter for the PlayStation <laughs> bro, 2? Bro, playing NASCAR <laughs> online, dude. <laughs> I didn't have bro, it, man. I I had to have my PS2 LAN adapter so I could play Stunt Track Challenge and NASCAR Thunder 2004 online. You know, I didn't know about that though back then. So yeah, you were just... a wee lad. I was like three years old, and I think my dad probably didn't want me playing online with people, so that's probably what happened. Because um, I could have done it with that's Ratchet possible. and Clank too, which would have been amazing. But yeah, um... nah, those were cool. <laughs> I have the I have the controller thing for PS One. What are they called? They're, they're the, the boomerang. Multi -tap. Multi taps. Yes, uh, I knew they had a cool name. Couldn't remember. Well, let's move on from that amazing PS Two conversation and go into. I have used. Play the app. My words. I've played the <laughs> speedrunning mod for Hot Wheels World Race. You have? I have. I on stream. That. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And it yeah, was really on. awesome. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, keep, keep going. Uh, I just got to say. Don't play Ego too much. What? <laughs> <laughs> How? Why? Like, what made you want to mod this game? Because it's crazy amazing. Uh... I would tell you what made me want to do it, but I, I'd gladly tell you why I hated doing it. <laughs> what? <laughs> do the first yeah. one. The f I asked the question. I uh, do it in the mean... first place. What made you start? I, uh... We'll talk about I, the second I, part I... later. <laughs> no, the second so, part, you just so... put the image of spaghetti on the screen, and that explains the yeah, you wanna... reason why we hate this. Yeah, <laughs> so... I have modded a lot of games in my day. I, like I said, I'm a programmer, and I love speedrunning games. And, like, as a speedrunner and a programmer, you put those two together, and you're just like, why is this game bad? And so, you know, <laughs> when I came in here, there was a decently good modding scene already. Like, you know, we have Praha, we have uh, we have Lotus, we had Id Geek. Um, man, there's a ton of others I'm probably – forgetting like uh i mean we there were we so many you, I'm oh sorry we still yeah. love you all <laughs> i love you all miss you all too uh because really besides me and lotus we're the only we're the only ones left really everyone else is kind of dipped but 
I mean, at when I got in, Praha, who he he speed runs a lot of Zelda now. Um, mm. he made the first like open filed version of the game, reversing it, but it wasn't that great. Like there was still a ton of stuff like behind walls you couldn't do, and you know this and that, you know technical lingo, and so. I wanted to mess with it a bit, so I did. I made some cool mods, like top-down mod, like micro racers. I messed with the gravity, messed with physics, mm -hmm. and I just I was like digging into it. But there was tons of stuff I couldn't do. So eventually, one summer, which was um, two years ago, I just decided I'm going to fix this game and <laughs> make it better. So I sat down for five months and re like basically from from nothing. <laughs> parsed every file out individually and reversed everything as much as I could to Jeez. open it up. And then I had to manually start a library of code and library of all this stuff on uh, some of my coding software that, you know, like just, just basically getting all of how their scripts, how are, how is everything written? What their language is written? Yeah. in. You know, I know it's C plus, when you know that's fine it's not that hard to understand c plus but it's the way that they have all these terms and yeah, right. after a while you know months of going by i now know this game's code like the back of my hand and for everything that i got to do after that it was crunch time so then mm. i started figuring out what do i have to do what do i have to do what do i have to do you know all these things and then eventually it was like balance the cars yeah balance the gravity fix some of the tracks fix the collisionings Fix a lot of the the different the, like the, the weird planes. wacky stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. We have now open source textures, so you can texture any car you want, which we could do back wow. then, but now it's way easier. Yeah. And we still use the same converter that Pra made, cause what? Why fix what isn't broken? It works. Right, right. You know, music textures. Now, now we just I just figured out like a couple months ago how to edit all the track and the uh, skyboxes, which. Wow stupid uh don't don't do that it's it's dumb I, why'd they do it that way i hate it reinsert the um, picture of spaghetti yeah why why did you i don't again i climax if you're listening which you're probably not why did you do why'd you make it so stupid you you cut corners every other place i've looked but when you was like oh yes the skybox yes let's turn the, the skybox needs to be convoluted i love that let's just do that you know <laughs> And I hate it. I hate it so much. It's sort of yeah, like, you know, like back then they, they had different ways of thinking, you know. Yeah, like, let, let, let me put it in perspective. These are the people who didn't model an entire cube for Tesla's cube. They just made a corner and then flipped it and then said, that's a that's a square. And there's not even a top texture. That's actually just an inverted back texture of one of the walls that they flipped upside down. They didn't even make a complete cube. There's no bottom of it either. The door's not even real. It's just a JPEG. Like great. you're That's talking great. about people who did that, and then the skybox is 32 images instead of one <laughs> what? instead of yeah. one image on a sphere. Whoa. Yeah, it's stupid. It's really, really it's stupid. dumb. I've seen it. Whoa! It's what? instead of one image on a sphere that's wrapped around the track. No, it's 32 individual images. What? Because that why? Makes, because that makes sense. It's why? I just no, because they oh. want to preserve the skybox as the highest quality possible, and not dumb everything else down. <laughs> Don't mind the the liveries on the cars are like three pixels each. That's why <laughs> we need the skybox yeah. to have, be as large as possible. This this skybox needs to be 4K. That's In great. 2004. Oh, but sir, MST Suzuka's skin looks like doo doo. That's fine as long as the skybox. <laughs> As long as the skybox of Tesla's cube has God rays, that's all that matters. <laughs> they really, that really wanted that skybox. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So, so you figured out this code, and then you created this this mod, and it's it's one of my favorite mods because I mean, was it? You can go 300 miles per hour, and it's yep. it's just super fast, it's super fun. The I mean, the to be fair, fun. and I've heard this criticism, so I will point it out. The tracks were never built for the cars to hit this speed, but uh, I just tell people who say that to cope because hit the brakes. <laughs> Literally, just stop flooring it and actually use the brakes and the handbrake like it's intended, like real cars. So, you know, you that, said, that's a Guys, thing. it's already a broken game. How, how much did you expect? Like, <laughs> No, here's the thing with it like being broken, so right? Far. Like, 
I fixed pretty much all of the issues that plagued vanilla, like bad hitboxes, mm. bad jump scripting, bad displacement, mm. the respawn. Space out. Space, <laughs> space out entirely. <laughs> um, shuffling is now a lot better. I mean, the cars the cars are balanced. So, like, speedrunning the patch, which, yes, we all speedrun the patch um, as well. Separate leaderboard. And, uh, y you know, all the cars are viable. In vanilla, there's, like, three cars on the leaderboards. On the patch, mm. there's, what, 14 or 15 different yeah. cars. You know, it, it's all what you want. It's preference, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing is I wanted the patch not mainly for speedrunning, but just for an accessible new rendition of the game that's fresh and yeah. feels, you know, a little bit nicer for people to play. Yeah. Um, and I'll go ahead and also disclaim, as of right now, tracks, and t you know, probably from now into the future, tracks do not look at all to be replaceable mm. you can take them out but there's no way of getting anything new in cars might be possible and i say might i'm still been looking into it but cars maybe in the future we could replace car models Ooh. but the re the main reason a lot of stuff is still locked is because the engine that made the game the climax racing engine mm -hmm. is scrapped there's no remnants of it left online and that yeah. engine and that software is what made a lot of the physics of the game okay and we can't code we can't code and produce these files that recode these track pieces right so right. there would be no way to do it yeah yeah and um you know let's say let's say theoretically you mm -hmm. let's just say mattel is like hey we need to work on a new hot Wheels video game and would you go for it <laughs> would you would you actually go for that do I have to move to California? Yes, because that's where no. I'm based. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> I If... Okay, I like... It... I, Let I, him I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna be biased here. I didn't like Unleashed, and seeing as the way that Mattel is trying to go with their games, I personally don't think there's been a good game since Beat That, and that's Beat That alone is honestly kind of like iffy on that mm. mark. I mean, no, track attack, no. same vein. Like, it's kind of, eh, well, it's okay. Fair, let's say, let's say you don't have to move to California because obviously Unleashed is made in what? Uh, uh, it's in a different country. Someone's gonna hate me in Something. Europe. Sorry, Europeans. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's say it's Germany. Let me check. I want to say Germany. Where's as Milestone well, from? I don't know. So I'm just gonna let's say they were like, hey, if you have your own team of people, and you can, let's say, remaster World Race or something, would you do that? Am I getting paid? Uh, yeah, you would have. It would be contract work, right? It would be contract. Work. Then I would most likely probably think about it very, very hard. Man, he he really is just. I saying, I don't know. I think he's like. <laughs> it's well. That's the thing. Is like. <laughs> I think we're just are we what the end are we making it from the ground yeah. up or are we remastering the game? Let's say let's say it's like uh battleless uh bikini bottom right. Let's say it's like that. Like How the new one the what is it called uh, rehydrated uh, rehydrated, rehydrated. Yeah, so it's from it's the ground like up yeah ground up yeah, then, well ground then up here's my engine. here's my rebuttal how much are we the developers and programmers how much are we getting our own insight and our own like input to this project how much are we doing versus how much do they want us to do let's That's, say that would be let's my say it's question just a total like just do the game and then just make it make it make it new like Let's say make it the way you want challenge it. or even yeah let's say you can do um like maybe a new story mission or something right and they say you if can they... add a little to it and pizzazz it uh just make sure that that core gameplay was there you know let me put it in a way that i guess would be the the, the correct answer of what I'd, I'd say if they came to me and said hey we're planning on remaking world race you know using the original stuff or at least something similar basically remaking the game exactly like it is but just for newer stuff or in adding more things and blah, 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 whatever. Yeah. Would you be interested in helping work on this project as you, you know, you know a yeah, lot about the game. You're, you're familiar with the physics and, and how they Everything. Function. And I would, if that was the case, wholeheartedly, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I would do it. They wouldn't even have to pay me. I'd just, probably just do it because <laughs> I love the game. <laughs> Yeah, but you're still I would please regardless. pay him because that's not good no. work. You got to no. pay him. You have to pay him. There's no But I mean, you mentioned Stunt Track. I mean, I'm still in the process of modding Stunt Track, but right. Climax uh Climax, the file security on that game is whew, 
They stepped their game up. Mm -hmm. Um, A lot of stunt track is kind of wishy-washy when it comes to what will and will not work. Like, the game has a very finicky file system. Um, Uh, Unlike World Race, where we broke the archive, this game, the executable requires the archive. The reason World Race doesn't is because it has a launcher. And because Stunt Track doesn't have a launcher, it needs this archive intact because it does file checks all the time. Uh, and if hmm. something does not match with what it has in its code directory, it will be like, uh-oh, please insert the disk. Uh, I'm on PC. I don't have a disk. Yeah. So it it gets really, really bad really quick. What if but, you did have a disk? If you could buy a disk? Because there so obviously exists. Here's the problem with disk. You'll never be able to rewrite what's on the disk because you oh. have to do it on the computer because the disk is all burned, right? Yeah. So if if I had the disk, it would be even worse because then it knows that what I'm running and what I'm using on my disk are two completely different games. Oh, okay. Okay. So everything that we've ripped, which we ripped this, the, you know, I have the PC version. I ripped it. This is a rip of that I've done and I have all mm-hmm. the files open. Um, and uh, I remember Opus on your stream – yeah, or your podcast long yeah. time ago, he mentioned how terrible World Race was and how terrible Stunt Track is, like, trying to code. Boy, is he not wrong. <laughs> like, is he not it's wrong? It's just a pain in, in, the, in the butt. So really the easiest thing to do for, like, modding in, like, both games is probably, like, just replace the music. That's it. It's whatever's wow. up front. All the files that are up front out the archive, boom. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it's not really modding. You're just replacing files, and right, you know, really, right. but... Stunt track, there are some things I have been able to do for, on different versions of the game. Like, Xbox is Xbox is just jank. Yeah. Like, that version is just so unstable. It's, it's Don't even play it. It's unstable. However, um, quick side note to Xbox. If anyone wanted to play online Stunt Track Challenge, you heard me. Online Stunt Track Challenge. Download the Xbox <laughs> emulator for 360... Get Stunt Tracks ISO and install X Link, and you can play online with your friends on Xbox. That's crazy. Through the, through I know the, we, uh, we've been able to do it before a long time mm-hmm. ago on PC. I forgot how. Um, but anyway, so the Xbox version's very unstable. Mm. So I mainly speed ran on the PS2 version, and I modded the PS2 version. Yeah. And PS2 is very lenient, you know, for some reason. Yeah. On a, like what you can and can't do, and I've known that there's like missing content. There's tons of dev stuff in there that have left over files, textures, tons mm. of unused assets. There's even a whole nother level that's called test, that was actually just it's just pterosaur but with nothing, and the track is just straight. Oh. So I'm assuming that was just like a basic level that never got re- yeah, like removed yeah, completely. Yeah, yeah. Um, hmm. I remember mentioning it in your server, somebody mentioned it, like, and I told them, obviously I went in nerd mode, but there was supposed to be a cut, like, snow-themed, like, episode Dude. that never, never got made. Wow. We need because a there's a ton theme. of, there's tons of assets that call to these locations in the files and scripting that don't exist, but when you look at what the, like, what they were labeled as, it's all labeled under Tundra. So I have no idea um, what it could have been. Probably something with a T, Tricky Tundra or something. But Dang, um, that sounds so as, cool. as many unused Ryan Storm voice lines that there are, I'm surprised none of them are related to that episode. And if it they are, I would have no way idea. Before. It may have got so, like way before but, in, the, in the process. And then... I mean, there's tons of stuff in Stunt Track. Yeah. Like most people, most people don't even know that there are three golden cars. For each version of the game. That's oh, like yeah, a big yeah, yeah. thing that people don't know. But there are three different golden cars. One for each class. Right, right, right. So, and, and, and uh, it, they, it is possible to bring them all onto PC or any console because all their files are there. Oh. Everything is there. The only thing not labeled is where to select it in the menu. Oh. That's the only thing keeping people from getting it is because it's not selectable. Same thing with... um. The stunt cars, right? You can't select yeah. stunt cars outside of, uh, like, you know, the stunt modes. But there is a way to mod the stunt cars selectable in races. And let mm-hmm. me tell you, side draft is not meant to be used in a race. It is completely unfair. <laughs> but even so, they're not <laughs> coded correctly. Right. Every car has scripts based around the tracks they drive on. Mm. And if you take 
a car onto a part of a track it doesn't have scripting for it, the game just crashes. Oh, interesting. So oh, hitting cool. hitting ramps, doing loops, triggering Ryan's voices, there's just some things that each car just crashes at. Uh, Dior 2 straight up just doesn't work. Aw. Uh, as soon as you drive through, like, five seconds of any track, the game just freezes. It's like the Dior 2. We don't want you playing with that. No. Slingshot, I think, is <laughs> the most like stable of, of the most all the cars. cars in the early 2000s. <laughs> Why should we let them drive it? Aside from, like, yeah, one yeah, game yeah. mode. Ugliest right. Diora model. Yeah, it is pretty ugly. Um, they actually reused all the models from World Race. Climax did. Yeah, yeah, They yeah. are the I exact same models with small touch-ups. Except for uh, Switchback, which is arguably worse. Which, oh boy, speaking of stunt, uh, of uh, models in Switchback, Valkyrie... No! <laughs> Dude, the <laughs> world race UVs are horrible. The it's... UV mapping, which tells every, which tells it where on the, where on the PNG to pull the, pull everything, yeah. and put it on the car. Awful, 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 awful. awful. <laughs> and switchbacks are all backwards. Yeah, it's all backwards, so everything just looks like it's reversed, and it's intentionally <laughs> like that for some reason, and it's the absolute worst thing ever. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah, that's cool. That's terrible. And yeah. That's not even like the tip of the iceberg. When, yeah, when you know it comes what's funny? To... No. I, I actually had forgotten They're to all talk bad. about it, but like, there's a bunch of hidden boundary break stuff, right? In in some of these games. Um, oh yeah. Like Ryan. Well, now with stunt said, track like... as much as um, stunt track's camera, I haven't messed with too much. Yeah. Obviously, I haven't really been able to access it. But yeah, I think I mentioned to you with World Race. Yeah, we have a free cam that I've been working on trying to get mm -hmm. it stable. Mm -hmm. And we we have found some cool stuff around the map and just how things call and stuff that you're not supposed to see that d that they left around just lying around and stuff. Yeah. Um, there are assets in certain tracks that are completely invisible. Dude, the Vapor City and, TVs uh, I think are my favorite. Yeah, the what? Vapor City TVs that are upside Whoa. down that have Taro's face upside Whoa, down for some cool. reason. It, it's it's and, incredible uh, when we first found that. We couldn't stop laughing for like 20 minutes. Why <laughs> is this here? That You can't even see this TV. It's on the backside of a building that you never see, and it's upside down. Why? <laughs> so we made it an emote. We have Taro TV on our server now as an emote. So, so I also know there's like the whole thing with Jeff Gomez, right? And how he originally envisioned the the races to be like was closer to something like maybe the video game rather mm -hmm. than how it was in the movie exactly, because there's a space level and all this. Um, can you just talk about that a little bit? Because I know we from, talked about it. From what I know, uh, and this is, of course, you know, after we've talked to some developers over the mm -hmm. years. From what I know, and again, this is completely hearsay. This isn't, like, I wouldn't call this factual. Okay. So don't quote me. But from what I remember and from what I know, and again, I'm not friends with Jeff like you are, so you could just ask him. <laughs> I but, will ask him <laughs> From the February devs, from 1st, what I remember from so. what they said was... Uh, when they were asked to make the game and make all the levels, the original idea was that the movies were going to have these levels in it, but mm. or these legs, like the water stuff, but they just right. didn't have the budget and the time. Yeah, but I've heard he that still too. wanted it. He still wanted it in the game. So they tried to make it as close to what he wanted the mm. themes to be. Yeah. Like the space race, right, is what it's actually supposed to be called. So the space race for both the that that dimension, so space out and satellite city, mm -hmm. was supposed to be like a space mining port and colony. Oh, that's that was the theme. Cloud City um, was supposed to be this giant bustling airport. Of oh. so Cloud Nine, that's why there's tons of jets and airplanes flying around Cloud Nine. That's why in Vapor City they have like tons of jets parked around. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. that was the theme is you're you're going through this giant city in the clouds and it's this big bustling airport and you have all these billboards. Airport in the sky, essentially. You know. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. And then I can the see about. you know, yeah. and then Deep Zone, which was right. obviously Deep Zone and Submerged City. Yeah. Deep Zone was supposed to be this whole thing of. You start out in this, you know, beginning of the track where it's all water and you go through this complex and mm -hmm. it's all these science stuff and you're just going through underwater and you have this all these underwater sections where these you know, fish and sharks and whales are mm -hmm. and all this cool stuff. And then eventually it turns into what Submerged is, which is this giant, like, dark, gloomy oil rig of 
just tons of different stuff that have high tech transit systems. Like there's a monorail. Oh, Most people wow. don't know about this, but there's a monorail on Submerged City. You will probably never notice it because you go by that section so fast. But after the big split jumps, there's a monorail system connecting to one of the aircraft towers mm. where the fuselage is. And it, you, you got to stop and sit for a second, but you can watch it go by and it has audio. It's wow. really cool. I actually never uh, knew there's that tons of. That's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a, there's, really, you didn't know about that? No. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. We're all learning oh. about it. Woohoo. Oh, man. So, yeah, and there's like. I mean, there's tons of stuff we as a community have just, like, looked around and, like, the, the, the ideas from them, these tracks. Like, you know, yeah. Fast Jungle and Emerald <coughs> Crater is supposed to be based on the second leg, right? This yeah. big, dense jungle. Not yeah. the cliff stuff, but just the jungle part. Right. But what makes no sense to me, and I think we talked about this, was uh, there's – in, in Vast Jungle, it's just all wood cutting. Yes. And they're turning all yes. these trees into this weird – solution that's going into these cans yes. and the cans have the nitrox logo on it right right so this is so interesting because i didn't know about this is that there's nitrox too being developed in the accelerator and they all have like, scrim corp every yeah. every single track by the way has scrim corp somewhere on the track whether it's visible or not oh, wow. the only wow. tracks that scrim corp is not on is cloud nine and vapor city the only one. There's no wow. Scrimcorp logos there. So it's really weird. Yeah. So you have space out mining stuff. You have vast jungle cutting trees. Right. You have all these testing facilities being done at Deep Zone. Yeah. Um yeah, yeah. Miss Mountain and uh what uh Lava Twist. You yeah. have all of these cranes digging out these big boulders with stuff hanging off of them. Mm. Like there's this there's this story of like what are they doing in all these tracks? Right, <coughs> right. That's you know crazy. And it, and we never noticed as as kids, right? We're just thinking. Oh yeah, you know kid, you don't really you know, notice it. I didn't notice so don't. Hey, look, this looks. So <laughs> what, wait, what did you say, Valkyrie? He Sorry. said he didn't notice this as an adult. Oh yeah, see, yeah, well, it's like, like I'm, I'm still learning about this. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> and I was talking to Nolo about this because I remember you telling me on on a on a separate call about just the little things. And me and Nola were just talking, and we're just like, this is insane. Like, who puts this much thought into the tiniest of details? Like, you wouldn't even notice that normally. Ask but Mark. It's there, he, and now Mark. that it's there, we can theorize about it, and we can think, wow, okay. So, well, the thing is, we have asked. We asked one yeah. of the designers, and their actual response was, it was just part of the lead design choices and development huh. which they they were just told what to do so wow you know uh, and i wanted to end all of this with the one thing that stands out to me the most and it's it always has bugged me because it makes no sense whatsoever hmm? but why are there giant cans of uranium in pyramid and egyptian huh egyptian dunes huh. In Pyramid Run, there are cans of – they're green cans that have, a like, a hazard symbol on them. Like, they're green. They, I'm like, okay, what's a green hazard? Huh. Uranium is, like, the only thing that really comes to mind. Maybe. Can't be – it's radioactive because huh. it's got the radioactive symbol. Interesting. You know, yeah. it had like, why are these here? There's not even mining going on in this stuff. But then when you go through Pyramid Run – there's one pyramid in the very back of the map. Every other pyramid in Pyramid Run and Egyptian Dunes have blue lights. Yeah. There's one pyramid that's lit up green. Oh. One. Huh. And that always has stuck out to me. Like, why? Huh. That's super why? And I know it's not purposeful. Or I know it's purposeful because right. I've, looked in, I've looked at the textures. There's a legitimate green light texture. Wow. Because every texture is called Pyramid Light Blue pyramid light dark blue mm. and then you have pyramid light green wow That's why crazy. that that just so, goes into this whole thing like originally uh if y'all remember is, watching the jeff what podcast, is it you know is that um he talked about scrim corporation being an evil corporation uh as far as like it was in his D D campaign as some type mm -hmm. of uh i don't remember what he said goblin goblin city thing right so yeah. There's like this consumerism thing going on with capitalism or something. I don't know. Uh, that has like 
this corruption of scrim corp maybe being turned and now we can theorize because now silencers and all that you know silencers may have taken this and like i said this goes with some of the theories that i was talking about with nolo you know this is again theory stuff that we're discovering from information from a video game right it's it's crazy to think about yeah, that that's just maybe oh, this yeah. is what tesla wanted like tesla found these things or this is my maybe running tesla, theory maybe it's someone above tesla in the scrim corporation or scrim tech you know Th this is my running theory like my after playing the game watching the movie and understanding all the motives jeff had and the, the ideas here's my idea this is my my thing what if the game what what if scrim corp already had access to the dimensions and this game was yeah. supposed to represent everything they're doing yeah inside of it and all of it because I feel like this would be after the wheel of power is returned well the, remember what i said right no 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 this is no. not this is still wheel of power oh, this is still because power remember what game. i said about every track has scrim corp logos except for the cloud ones right it's in tesla's cube as well because he's the founder and the president of the scrim corporation so he already knows about this right so this is kind of my lead on to you know what if his job now was get all these drivers to go through and get the wheel because they can't mm. you know there's yeah. no such thing as the racing drones i guess in this universe it's just go get me the wheel go yeah. win these races you know what if that's it? What if that was the yeah, idea? Maybe Clip Clip was a subsidiary or something. Maybe. And and you know what else though? Because maybe Galorum's a, a one off of Clip and she decides to take Clip on her own or something. I don't know. But And Smash Mouth a... is involved somehow. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> Somewhere. Yeah, they're the master they're, they're the masterminds, dude. Yeah. It'll be um it'll <laughs> it'll be like in Kim Possible when they show up, right? Just randomly at a at a cool <laughs> yeah. dance. Um, yep. No, what what's interesting is we were rewatching the World Race movie last night and yep. we noticed on the check it signed Jack. Now, if you know, Jack yeah. Wheeler is Vert's grandpa. Why is Vert's grandpa involved in the corporation? And why is it the one that's on the check signing? You you, you mean Vert's dad? No, Jack is his grandpa from the 60s cartoon. Vert's dad, thought... we never know his name. His name is Major Jack Wheeler. Wheeler. No, it's Major Wheeler. I thought Jack, it's Jack Wheeler. Jack Wheeler is from. Jack. Yeah. We don't know for sure. Oh, we don't know for sure though. That was. No, that it's was a, it's on the wiki. Vert's dad's name is Jack because I they don't think they so. it's the same thing from from the uh, Battle Force. They use the same name, I Jack don't Wheeler. Think so because because sixties cartoon Jeff has said that Jack Wheeler is a part of the universe of World Race, right? And that mm. Jack Wheeler from that is Jack Wheeler. It's Jack Rabbit special, right? So it could still be Jack Jr. I don't I don't doubt that. I could maybe, have sworn it was also Jack. I think well, it would still have to be signed Jack Jr. or something. I don't know. Point is, what's Jack doing? Anyway. We well should... obviously he's making five million dollars or he's making losing it. More than that, twenty five mil. <laughs> he's giving out twenty five million. My mil. man's <laughs> losing thirty five million dollars right now. Man my man rich. Yeah, basically. You got um, me a giant Sonic sort of really Here's five million dollars, and we never <laughs> <laughs> three Sonic rings. It's funny because I realized we didn't finish up talking about speedrunning stunt track challenge. But just real fast, you know what's the difference between stunt track challenge, speedrunning, and world race? To, to a lot way out of there. A pain, a pain. Yeah, a pain. Uh, I'm not gonna pain sit difference? on this too long. Yeah, because we got other questions, so I won't sit on it too long. But basically. The difference between stunt track and world race is a lot, and by a lot I mean it is. So there are tons of different movement tech in that game, and we have tons of different leaderboards for that game, like tons of ILs. Like if you don't want to do the entire game show, you are more than welcome to come play 60 of the individual levels. Okay. We have game break times, we have all the different individual uh, stunt modes, mm -hmm. races, races for no cars, which we call time trials. We have time yeah. trials for both any cars and golden cars, which yeah. means if you have any version of the game, you can come play any version with the gold cars. Um, and I think there's only one Xbox time on all the gold leaderboards. So. <laughs> well, there you go. Xbox um, fans, uh -huh. go get it. <laughs> but the main thing governor. about, yeah, the governor, the main thing about stunt track that's different is 
it has and, and this is because climax knew man world race was broken so mm -hmm. they fixed a lot of their bugs and implemented a leaning system, which was mostly mm. meant for the stunt modes to get more points. Oh. But that, in turn, was the most broken mechanic in that game. The leaning mechanic is so okay. overpowered that if you are not abusing it, which we, funny enough, we have a role called Tech Abuser, which <laughs> don't the only way to get that role is to basically get a world record and never not be doing tech. Like if oh you start uploading goodness. times and you're just you're just always doing leans, you're gonna get that role in the server for tech <laughs> abuser, oh, or just goodness. find something new. So That's great. The every like it seemed for a while back two years ago, because <coughs> um, I've been speedrunning stunt track just as long as World Race. Um, just a couple years ago, like Wiggle Tech was basically at its peak, and that's yeah. what we call when you're driving sideways, you start spamming the lean. It keeps all your full speed momentum and tightens your turn, and you never slide. That's ever. insane. And then That's if you insane. pair that up with boosting, you get what's called slope speed, which is that mm -hmm. extra speed you get going downhill. Yeah. Now, there are four speed caps in this game. You have normal driving speed, you have boosting speed, and then you have driving and boosting speed with slope. So four. Four total. Mm. Every one of these are hard cap limits. So if you're going whatever speed it is, the highest amount you can ever reach is boost plus slope. That is mm. it. However, as you saw on your server, I posted yeah, when you, you speed. Yeah, you did post this. Yeah. I um a year or so after I showed up, I made a comment and said I will find a way to uncap the speed. If it's anything like World Race is coded, there's going to be an oversight. And mm -hmm. sure enough, a year later. I uh, I figured it out, and now it is the most broken tech in that game, and we call it Afterburning, and you can exceed speeds of over 1,000 miles per hour. What the heck? In the top speed with the normal heavy car is 220. Yeah. So I won't get into details on how it works, but it works basically like this. It's when frame you, perfect. Sort of. It's frame perfect tricks. Literally, mm -hmm. we, we watched it back, um, a few of us of the other day, like for me trying to explain it to them. For how complicated it is. It was actually you on have the first around... of this year, actually. We watched some of your... Oh, yeah. Ones. It was literally first of this year, yeah. Wow. So, we... I was showing them. It is a one or two... You basically depends. It off frames, but... Yeah. It is a one or a two frame window. Where if you do not perform these inputs on this trick correctly with the exact speed and angle you need, you won't get it. Yeah. Literal frame perfect tricks. And you have to do this a lot. Mm. Um, but what it is, is you gain the max speed possible without boosting. So, um, you get normal driving speed plus slope, mm -hmm. and then you start boosting. Uh, I see. You want to maintain this boost and slope speed and the frame that you let off of your boost needs to be done by hitting something in order to do this. You have to lean the car or what we call full lean or L yeah. lean. And you have to make the hitbox of the car clip the track and create sparks, which will hit the hitbox and make the, the car stop boosting. If you're at maximum speed when this happens, you're, the game will say, oh, you need to be 20 miles per hour slower because you're just driving and you have no boost. Mm. But you still have your slope speed, which is 10 plus. But the game doesn't calculate that initially. So if you're above that 20 mile per hour gap, which you have about a five mile per hour limit now of being above it on those two frames, as you start lean spamming after you get off of the, the, the boost and the, the collision with the track, if you just start mashing in a certain rhythm, the car won't slow down and it will stay above that cap. And now it's all gravity and angle and you just start zooming because the game has no cap on your momentum now. And it's trying to recalculate your speed by trying to turn you straight mm -hmm. because you're sliding forwards or sliding sideways forward. And if you play stunt track, everyone who knows, the game has this weird auto correction system where if you turn really hard, hit a wall, it like tries to straighten you out. Yeah. You know, yeah. that is being abused by turning and sliding using the handbrake to never turn straight. And you just keep Ooh. holding a sideways angle and you gain ridiculous speed. Pair that by hitting a bomb. The, this is another oversight we all knew about, but bless you. Thank you. Um, 
if you hit a bomb, your car becomes icy, right? Like ice physics. Yeah. They never, they never thought about you holding the handbrake. Because if you hold the handbrake, that overrides the bomb's weird physics. But what that doesn't override is what happens when the bomb's physics end. So if you hit a bomb, initiate an afterburn, and then the bomb physics go away, the game is now doubling down on gripping you. And because <laughs> you're fully sideways, that in that accelerates your momentum like by I think it's a multiplicate multiplicative stack of about seventeen times. Jeez. Which is why you can go from two hundred to three hundred in about four seconds and three hundred to a thousand and one. Because it just it just hits a certain <laughs> point where it's like, oh, here we go. And here I've crashed go. the game numerous times doing this. But the reason we say it's painful is because in order to pull this off, you have to do it on a controller. Mm. Keyboards, it's almost impossible because of the way you would have to bind it. Yeah. But you need analog input for number one. And yeah, you need to you need claw to it on a specific angle with your control stick. Yeah. Too. You mentioned that at one point. Mm. Yeah, it's very hyper specific on your angle. And you have to claw four buttons and mash two separate ones at the same time. Gotcha. And it's I I eventually developed callus on my hands from yeah, doing it. And I stopped running the game after that because it was it hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I sure. still hold tons of records, and no one's been able to beat them because no one wants to grind Afterburn tech. It's so I, I officially – te- <laughs> I killed the game, unironically. I yeah. found the tech. I promised I'd find it, and I killed the game. Yeah, well, because the tech you he found was just the, oh, this is stupid difficult as opposed to, like, World Race, which is, which is just basically press and hold handbrake. Congratulations, you learned the basics. Now, man. Yeah, and, and this one requires you to be an astrophysicist. So, <laughs> now, I know what a lot of people are probably thinking. Why didn't we just ban it? I mean, I am a moderator for speedrunning. Why didn't we ban it? I wanted to ban it, but it was a one to four vote. And they all said, this is a built-in tech in the game, it's going to stay. Well, it stayed, and then six months later, game I day. got tons of records, and no one was able to catch me. because. And I taught everyone how to do it, but they just couldn't They couldn't do it like I could. I guess mm-hmm. it was so just a knack thing. you became thing. the world record holder in at nope. least you. Only for individual levels. Um, only for individuals. I mean, I, I'm not as good as some of the, the, the top runners of that game when it comes to game show. That's their foray, not mine. Mm. Like, I you am good on time trials. Oh, yeah, I still hold almost, I think, all but three Game Break World Records because... Uh, dumb. So. Dumb. <laughs> I mean, that's really all you need to know about it. It's just dumb. It's yeah. Dumb. Fun fact, if you don't know about Game Breaks, is there is a handbrake feature in the Game Breaks, and there's a boost start mechanic that not a lot of people know about. I didn't know that. Yeah, you can get a boost start, and you can hold handbrake to tighten up your turns and still be at full speed. Interesting. Most people don't know about that. It's crazy. <laughs> but I guess, you know, as you speedrun games, you learn these cool things, and it's fun to always tell people, like, yeah, you know, yeah, here's yeah. the, you know, there's this whole iceberg of what people know on the surface, and as you go deeper down, it's like cursed knowledge. Yeah, it's, it's sort of like when we found, or I don't know, you found the, uh, the uh, files for Ryan Storm's voice lines, finding out yeah. like that there is a, a sea turtle or was a sea turtle. Yeah, he stuff. has a sea turtle named uh, what was it? Sea turtle named Josh or something? Yeah. Hold on, I can yeah. find it again. I think it's but so it's, interesting though that there's like all these different hidden. You'll never things. hear them because they don't work because the triggers are messed up. Mm. Like a lot of triggers for unused dialogue are supposed to be locked around um, things that happen in the track. Yeah. But the triggers never follow. They never actually follow what they're supposed to be triggering, so they're always at the start of the cycle. Yeah. Like there's one in uh I think I mentioned to you the one of the ones in um high altitude for zero gravity zone where you jump over a big meteor. Yeah. If you yeah. time it right and jump right as it's passing, he yells, "Whoa, watch out for that big flying rock." You wow. know, you'll never that's hear that. Very rare. <laughs> feel like and you'll never rare. hear it because it just doesn't trigger. Oh, ever. that sucks. Mm, that's There's so the sad. ones for Howling at the Moon where he says something before that, but that never gets triggered because Howling at the Moon is overridden by that one. Uh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, I, I, I know I have a file to all of those, so maybe at some point we'll have to stick those on a soundboard and just be like, watch out for the whales. 
and uh, <laughs> all of that. So that's that's funny. No, Whoa, I'm just I hope howling there's... over and over and over again. I think my favorite. <laughs> I think my favorite unused dialogue is still the one for the tower <laughs> climb where he has a very, very rare chance to say it, but he never does because they remove the trigger. Oh. If you put it back in, it still can play, but um, you just have to move the trigger point for it. But it's the one where he's he's like, oh, is that an octopus? I have seen this movie oh. but, or I've seen this movie before or something like that. <laughs> and it's I'm funny. just like, yeah. I, Oh, oh man, it's no. so good. Can we just That's put so that funny. clip next to him howling at the moon and then? PG thirteen, PG thirteen. I'm not but saying no, any more uh, than that. That's but, so uh, funny. I think I think out of all of the other lines, the other one I like the most is the one from Jurassic Jam. One of the stunt levels. I don't know which one it is. It's it has no trigger. It's unused. But it's him saying, he he's like, man, I really like these dinosaur props. Question, what's your favorite dinosaur? And that's it. That's you know? it. That's it's, it. You know, it's like, the that'd been so cool. at the TV, respond to me, Ryan Storm. It's a T-Rex. It's a T-Rex. Triceratops. Need the PS2 mic controller. And then he'll answer you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. He just, you say it out loud. You got the Xbox Connect mic, and they pick yeah. it up, and he's like, wow, that's a terrible one. <laughs> and just like, quick. He quits your game. Doesn't even save. <laughs> Gives you the trash can trophy. Immediately. You silly. Oh yeah, that the other one people didn't know about the trash can trophy. Yeah, that's a oh funny man. One. At least that one's on YouTube for people to look up. Thank look God, up yeah. Challenge uh, trash can. It's if you're the lastest place in the eat in in the, in an uh, episode. If you episode, get dead yeah. last, which is basically almost statistically impossible. I think it is on one episode. I told you, yeah, Spider Alley. It's impossible. You can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Statistically, it is impossible to get last on Spider Alley. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, let's um, let's talk about some other projects they are doing that are game related. Uh, to go with this theme. Got a few. Yeah, uh, you know, the there's a uh, what? <laughs> is this the cue for what I think it is? Yeah, it is. Um... Yeah, JC, what is, what is the oh, other project it's... we're working on? Does that exist? Yeah. Yeah, what is it? Go ahead. Already. Yes. You wanna you wanna talk about the uh, the whole war? What? It's the, look. The look, war? What war? Guys, guys, look. You just you just had to learn how to bevel. That We're was not. It. It was so crazy. We're easy. not talking about oh, the bevel war of 2022. Sorry about Photoshop, and I did because I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I'm not paying for Photoshop. I Why not? Photoshop. Why do I want to pay for Photoshop? I'm not I don't use to it. Bevel. <laughs> Why do I need to bevel? Guys, it's I'm cringing. So simple. It's five seconds, and y'all were doing it by hand, and I heard. Thanks. You yes, know what? When, a... <laughs> when Adobe brings back Flash, I'll pay for Photoshop. <laughs> no, what we need is Shockwave. Oh That's what we need right now. Shockwave. We need Shockwave back. That's right. Yeah, we need Shockwave. <laughs> Dude, if they bring back Shockwave, bro, I can play some of the old web games. Yeah, I can play Lego well, Supersonic um... RC. That was one of okay, dude, okay, I okay, <laughs> okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. We don't like Photoshop, okay? Nobody said we didn't but, like it. I just like, don't but, want it. Just have no reason to pay for it. I know it. people Photoshop that have been... Photoshop elitist, all right. I'm, I'm down. It's on my system. <laughs> I, know, I know Valkyrie has been one of the headliners of the graphics department uh, on, on this, um, which is the ARCCG expansion, including... Uh, Hot Wheels World Race, and some more stuff, you know. Yeah, and you, know, you, you, you are a big help on that one too, you know. Like I and said, a lot of people cringe. were definitely confused that day when you did that stream making the the card art for us. Oh yeah, 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 that was <laughs> fun. No, no idea. I think yeah, I they had no idea. Hours. It was right yeah. after the Bevel War. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like the night. It was the night after the Bevel War that we we decided. I decided to stream it instead. Because I was like, you know what? I need to make some content because if I'm going to be doing this for eight hours, um, I'm going to need people to know what I'm doing. Yeah, and I'm <laughs> glad enough. I stuck with you for that one because that was very cool just to chill and talk to people and explain. But yeah, yeah, yeah. so the ACG. Uh, and I remember you were like, 
you're lucky I helped you because if I didn't care about the card game all of a sudden, uh, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, help. No, and I'm just I like doing all that card game <laughs> stuff. I did the. And uh, I'm just like, thank you, JC. You have no idea how much I I'm appreciative of this. And you're just like, dude, just get it done. Yeah, I know. I was like, and then you know we what? and then we made a clip logo. Yeah, we did. Oh, make and that a clip turned logo. out good. I, I, I like how the clip logo turned out. That I'm yeah. really happy with that. Yeah, I, I, again, it was because cringe at Z36. Um, Cringy. Cringe. Yeah, cringe. for anyone who doesn't know, and I quote JC, I was cringing is the reason he helped us. So, <laughs> true, yeah, we were using old scans just for the like. Basically, every card <laughs> we were making was all concept. Like, right. we wanted to get it physically in there for balancing and talk about it and stuff. And then JC was like, I'm going to get you guys actual templates that look actually good. Yeah. And I'm like, actually, and he actually. goes, really? And then he did. Whoa. And I still am so thankful to this day. for oh, that. We're because, all thankful because every, oh my God, yeah, it looks it's really beautiful. Good. <laughs> it's so good. It, it looks really good. Uh, yeah. Well, text just sidelining. <laughs> like I said, like I said, Valkyrie, Valkyrie helped with some of the templating as well, because I, I sort of used that. And then I, yep. I took some pictures of my own cards, um, for the ARCCG and it's just the border stuff. It was honestly, Oh yeah. The and it's, SPP it's, oh, values so go the mod icon, stuff like that, that I was like, you know, we could do better. We got, we got the tech. I could do this. And mm -hmm. uh, then a tire showed up, and the off-road tire yeah. was absolutely the worst thing in the world. It took like five hours, I think. That, that took you about four hours. Yeah, it was. It was or no, uh, no, no, no. I think it was like three hours, just about three hours. Yeah. As you were sitting there. Like I was still at work, and I was watching. I was like popping in every once in a while. Say I was, and about four different times I popped in. You were still working on that tire. The same so tire. Like, right. <laughs> it's like, look, I know your pain. I know your pain here. Yeah. yeah. The same tire. Because I don't understand. I'm not a depth. true artist. I don't understand depth. Except now I sort of do. Okay, I'm I'm getting. I, look, regardless, it looks amazing, and that's all that matters. And right. now the cards look so good, which, um, we actually just finished, fully finished the world race set. It is in the game. Oh yeah, let's go. So, 154 cards for world race, and that includes, I don't remember how many vehicles off the top of my head. A but a lot More than 30 of course the, 40 fifth, plus. the 15 tracks from the game wow and tons of now uh, tons of brand new like mods and shifts and hazards for each team including clip which is a team yeah so yep, you can play clip and it is both mostly going to be similar to drones where it's all hazard based um right. and you know, to clarify about the team stuff, yes, we have made three shifts and three mods for every team. So there are deck building now for each team. There are tons of card effects that are mm. brand new. Pretty much almost every single card we made has some sort of unique small gameplay effect yeah. or something yeah. that happens. And this is where the deck building comes into play. And I remember me and you talked about it and you told me that you really were interested in this because it adds so much Oh, like yeah. depth to the game of man it's not just number go bigger now yeah. it's this does this and this does this so i can do this and this card synergizes with this you yeah, know i like this, this synergy. vehicle and i like the synergy the only time we ever see any synergy is i think with the metal maniacs in rolling thunder it was like just they didn't really totally go in on that on i mean that, i don't uh, blame them it is a simple game kids game yeah, kind of yeah. so but and, that's but why I wanted adults. to make this mod. Well, we like are adults. This is an adult okay. game now. I remember, yeah, we're you saw one of the ones plus. where it was like a lot of text, and you're oh, like, oh, yeah. so this is a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, nope, that needs to be four more paragraphs for that. Yeah, the, the <laughs> one, the drone, the drone takedown hazard, which is like very long text, but it's, it's, once you read it and understand how it works, it's, it's simple to understand. But yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there, there's, I mean, you've seen some of the cards, and you know how much effort that we went oh, into yeah. like, making them and balancing them and making sure they all work. But yeah, so World Race is going to be in it. We've already have pretty much all of the Acceleracer stuff ready to be remade and uh, finalized. Mm. So Acceleracers are getting expanded, where we're adding four or five new team cards for every team, including team unique hazards. Ooh. That you can only play if you have those team car team vehicles in the game. Wow. Like I'll say for instance, uh, you know, if you're playing a Teku deck, you know, mm -hmm. if you have Teku in the realms, you can play Light Show, which uh... is a unique Teku hazard that only Teku can play. That's awesome. You know, 
Yeah. You have awesome. Fire Breather for Metal Maniacs that only Metal Maniacs can play. Mm. The drones have more hazards unique to them now than other cards. But some of them have so much synergy, like for instance, you know, the recon drones. We have a drone reconnaissance Ooh. as a as a shift that allows you to steal a hazard from your Ooh, opponent. You can view I their like hand this. and steal their hazard. I like this. You know, and then the silencers are all ha there's they have a few hazards, but they're mostly hazards are non lethal, meaning they won't hurt you, but they kind of they kind of screw with you a bit, like yeah. can't you can't mess with your car, or you can't oh, move or something. You know, you lose AP or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. all of their mods for the ha for silencers are based around upgrading and building cars a certain way. For yeah. instance, I won't spoil, but one of them is it's a set of three, and when you play mm. this one mod, it boosts say it'll boost power by one. But the caveat is now you will never you will never be affected by any negative power stats. Hey, I can, so if somebody... I can guess what this is, and it's at the end of breaking point of. Uh, am I guessing right or no? Uh, for artwork. Oh, for artwork. Yeah, okay, for artwork. well, that is one card. Hey, yes. Okay, okay. Did use that art. Yeah. yeah JC like, knows all like about that. the card art we've been getting, and he's seen some of the card art we have for the World Race stuff, and. It's good. Uh, it's it's good. good. The green, good screenshots, honestly. I think one of the fun things is is that, you know, this brings more synergy to playing team-wise. You know, you get mm -hmm. to play Teku more, or you get to play Metal Mania. Yeah, more, and, stuff and that's like why that. I wanted to do, do more, it was more, 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 more team-based yeah. operations. I yeah. think we should also note that it's not just World Race Acceleracers. You know, Velocity oh, yes. X. Yes. Stunt Track Challenge and beat that. We're we're doing all cards in sets based around these games mm -hmm. that eventually. all will have sin eventually. Well, Velocity <laughs> X is done. Yeah, it X just needs done. to be the other two are just like like Stunt Track and beat that we're concepting right now, and it's probably going to be a bit before yeah. we get it. But they yeah, are as of right now, it's based. still the it's still the beginning of January. So I, whenever this goes live, for everyone watching, as this goes live, um. I would say either end of February, beginning of March, this should be available to play on Tabletop Simulator on Steam. Wow. And, you know, I, again, I still got to thank everyone W's. who's helped with this project. You know, W's you, JC, you know, me, Valkyrie, uh, you know, me, you and Valkyrie are pretty much at this point, we were the ones doing the most like you. You had nothing to do with this. And then the one day you came in, you're just like, that's it. I'm helping. Yeah. Yeah. So and then that's and then, war. yeah, the bevel war. You know, oh, gotta Damon give up you know, more shout outs down to down the table, and then that was it. He just ingrained himself in the project, and yeah. we are but, still forever grateful. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. But I also gotta thank like Bengals, Crazy Gamer for also supporting and helping and playtesting with all our cards mm. and having fun with them, and and Wayman Val. Well, not really Valken. I think we're using like two of Valken's logos, um, <coughs> with permission, mm -hmm. but. We have, uh, well, I think you you gave me one, yeah, and but I, I got the other one. Permission. <laughs> yeah, and then I got the other one from Wayman. Oh, okay. But so Wayman as well, and then Kenobi. Mm, uh, yeah. I hadn't I hadn't really said this about Kenobi, but I don't really know him that well. I've never talked to him. I know how much of an amazing modeler he he is yeah. and stuff. And Wayman and him are pretty mutual. So through through uh, Wayman, Kenobi's you know been giving us stuff to use, and I'll ask him like he gave us the Accelodrome, so we're taking render shots for the Accelodrome wow. stuff that we're gonna be using, and making a panorama for the table and Let's go. all this stuff. Everything's gonna look so good once and we're then, done with it. It's oh, taking yeah. time because that's a very big thing. Yeah, but yeah, once yeah. it's but done, at least it's, it's not going to look good. Images. But These I have to really like extend my. All composted together, thank God. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have to really extend my. Uh... Well, so just... <laughs> I have to extend my thanks to Kenobi for this one reason, which is, he just after Wayman asked him for an an RDO six model that we wanted to put for a background thing, he's like, he's like, uh, you know what? Here, and he gave Wayman everything he's ever made and said, wow. give this to them. Wow. They can use it. You That's know, he crazy. wants to see it done. I'm like, dude, I told him, I was like, dude, he didn't have to do that. Right, you know, that's right, right. really nice, but like, holy moly. And I was just so yeah. grateful for that. And I'm absolutely putting his name in the credits for sure. Like, awesome. there's no way I shouldn't now. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Wayman, I, Wayman alone has helped, but like Kenobi delivering all of that just basically made it to where we don't have to ask for models. Right. Wayman has... 
for our Acceladrome and the props we've been using, like, Wayman, I'll ask Wayman, like, hey, uh, hey, Cat, are you busy? And he's just like, what? And I'm like, can you model me a quick Nitrox can like this? <laughs> he goes, he goes, no. And then he gives it to me in like 20 minutes. He's like, is this good, Egg? And I'm like, yes. Oh my he goes, goodness. okay, I go back to Valheim now. Hey, if you ever need a Nitrox <laughs> 2 logo, I got you. Um, got gotcha. you. <laughs> we got Cope Trox. That's even better. <laughs> hey, Cope Trox. Well, I was going to say, you know, too. what are some of the uh, cameos going to be in the Acceladrome? Because I've heard maybe one of mine. Maybe a, a Dior. Where'd you hear that? Definitely not from me. I don't know no. where you're getting this information from. Didn't it exist? I don't know. No, dude. Fake information. It was fake false. News. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna I pull... sneaked it underneath his door yesterday. I just snuck it check... across his house. Sneak underneath Walt his why? pants. SpongeBob. SpongeBob, where's the JC Diora? Did you check under the tray? Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> SpongeBob, I'm not joking. Uh, no, we, <laughs> we have No, it. we, we definitely somewhere. plan to have I all the... Okay. We definitely plan to have all the community member cars and skins for them in the Acceladrome shot and also as playable vehicles. Mm. So you, JC, can play as the JC Diora 2 you know, in this game. You know it's going to be the ultimate strat is just play it's JC not gonna be, Diora It's not going to be overpowered Straight at all, Straight to actually. the end. Once I'm, you I'm play this card, you win automatically. <laughs> yeah, you're, 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 you're going to be an 888 Diora 2. Oh, you're going to be an <laughs> yeah, 888. Like when he plays his power rocket in any game. Pretty much. Yeah, the description is going to be your ego has been boosted. You now your ego has been boosted. Been boosted. No, but you can also play overconfidence on this car for free. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's funny. Oh, man. Woo. Man, That'll we have no, I, Trust me. Out. Trust me. I planned, I planned to have every, like, community member, because that's what the set's going to be, was the community member vehicles. I plan to have some sort of weird, funny gimmick with them for, like, obviously a meme or a nod. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what they are, but don't okay. worry, JC. I'm not going to do you I'm not gonna do you that sour. Okay. So, they will I be interesting worse. to Understood. see. I, I have to blend file for the Acceladrum, so I might. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bevel well, your door, too. Bevel? <laughs> You know, you're going to bevel it. Hey, gonna look, this, this is a new the year. New year, new me. The front's going to get even more right, dented right. in It's 2023. We've got to put the war in 2022. We're going to see how long that lasts. Uh, um, five minutes. minutes. Man, well, yeah. we have been going on for an hour and 40 minutes. I can't believe it. That's crazy. That's crazy, um, dude. I mean, we can keep going. I'm not tired. <laughs> I am. Uh, longest <laughs> podcast session ever. Okay, we're going for 24 hours. Go. What's funny is this <laughs> isn't even the longest. The longest was with Reese, and we talked a lot. Oh, man, I can't believe we went for two hours on there. Um, but I think good guy people though. have probably checked out by now, and we're like... Yeah, JC, good podcast. Bye. After 10 minutes. Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> no, if just watch it in sessions. Like, you'll be fine. Yeah, if it's like me, I watch it in <laughs> sessions sometimes. I mean, I like watching and listening to podcasts when I'm working because it's yeah. just background noise. That's right. fair. Well, like, let's, but let's, uh, I'm uh, definitely I'm definitely going to like and subscribe to this one because I'm in it and I'm definitely not biased. You weren't subscribed oh, yeah, totally. already? That's No, I'm saying that as a person who's who's – Never mind. I'm saying that as if I, I was seeing this and I saw, wow, that's that Enigma guy. I got to subscribe now. I don't even know who that is. Subscribe for Will alone. And just <laughs> <got> <laughs> put Egg in the comments. For Egg. Subscribe for Egg. Yeah, oh, hashtag man. Will is the best. All right. I am. Thank you, yes. Let's, let's, okay. Nobody beats Very Enigma best. Will. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's You're going to get overtaken. Let's do a speed round because I think y'all are going to like this. Um, let's do favorite accelerators car. Enigma, go. That's really difficult, but I gotta I gotta throw it back for Chicane. Alright, Chicane. That's a new one. I don't think I've heard Chicane yet. Uh Waltech, what about you? I'm gonna pick two. Riveted and Reverb. I heard riveted. And if I Valkyrie, have to pick one from every can... team, it'd be different. <laughs> no, two. Valkyrie, what about you? Battle spec, man. You got some. Y'all got some different. If ones I'm gonna for pick sure. two, then my second one is. No, I of... said no to favorite. <laughs> no, no two, but he two. got two. He didn't that's get not two. I heard riveted. I didn't no, hear bro, the that's not fair, one. JC. I will. I heard him say two answers. That's not how it works. Care. Okay. You are I, you am the, I am the captain. I am the captain of the ship. I am the captain of the ship. Okay. Favorite. I am the captain. Favorite hot was dev diecast. If different than dev diecast. I didn't know they made them. That's a dev cast. I don't know that. Favorite diecast. Oh, that's so difficult. 
Oh my god, that's hard because I have tons of ones I like, but Same here. if you know me, if you know me, you already know that I have a bone shaker collection. So, and I have one that's uh, a custom well, that I guess Waltek, well, how about you? What's your favorite because uh, bone shaker? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> All right. How this is going now? All right, Mr. Diora 2. <laughs> No, don't worry. MJC, I, have, I, have a, I, I got to sit shaker. in the, the real Diora chair. I have a bone shaker. Don't worry. I'm not bone. You have one? Let's see how many I have on my wall. Oh my Will, God. we're going to be here for three hours if you start counting. <laughs> cool. All right, Wall Tech, how about you? What's, what's your favorite? Um, I like several. I think I'll go with my favorite for the most part, which is uh, Treadmill. Like Windmill. Diora 3. Classic. That's a weird one. Mulkery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I that like one by a lot. Okay, so this is just favorite diecast in general, yeah? Favorite Hot Wheels yeah. diecast, yeah. Split Image 2. Split Image 2. Oh my two. god, wow, Split an Image 2. One. Oh man, that's a that's a, that's that definitely a, up there for me. That is an underrated one for sure. If I had to give, like, honorable mentions, not Bone Shaker, because that's definitely my fa one of my favorites, but if I have to give others that are up there, it's like Scream and Holler. I really like that one. Are you like, getting your second? No. Yes, yeah. Yes. Favorite yeah. character, Enigma, go. <laughs> What character in what? Like letter? Accelerate size. <laughs> um, does that include world race? Y'all are horrible. Y'all are horrible at this. Does that include world Spay. race? Yeah, world race as well. Oh, then Banji. Banji, all right. It's between if you if you said no world race it'd be monkey, but if you include didn't world say race it's no, Banji. There's no between. Wall tech. Banji. What is well. your favorite? Banji. Banjee Did I mention well. yep. monkey? <laughs> <laughs> Valkyrie. What I... I mean, look, nobody beats Kurt Wilde. Yeah. Yeah, you're a nobody loser. Beats I'm sorry. Kurt Wilde. Except for himself. And then uh, favorite movie quote: Enigma. The entire World Race movie. In <laughs> two megabytes compressed. <laughs> <laughs> he's not kidding. Oh I, I he's not kidding. I have the entire I have the entire World Race movie as a 2 megabyte video file. Oh my mom. I'm not kidding. And if you want it, please ping me in JC server and I will post it. Real. If okay. you if you've made it this far in the kind of podcast. Wall Tech, what is your favorite movie quote? <laughs> <laughs> He's completely it's skipping. The full move. I'm a 35 movie. I don't have a favorite. Okay, Valkyrie. We're just going to yeah, skip you as well. Movie. Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Um, every movie combined in one second. Shut up! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm going to pass you. You know All what? Right. If you want a serious answer, there are so many good quotes, but it's probably just... It's probably just... Tesla forgot to pay the light bill. Oh, that's, that's a great a, one. That's a great one. It's classic. One. Okay, I think seriously for me too. One of my favorites is. Can you speak that in English or at least Spanish? Or at least Spanish. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's good. That's good. Uh, Tech support be like. <laughs> um, in breaking point, the whole conversation between Vert and his dad. You should stop what, what you're you doing, son. <laughs> I don't know why. That always sticks out my head. Doing, are you grounded? Or are you grounding me? They're not punks. They're not punks. That's also They're good. They're my punk, punk friends. Punk. Oh my. There's so many memes with well, I never, I know. <laughs> We're not going I never liked YouTube. you hanging We're out. We're not going into YouTube poops. We're not doing that. Oh, no. Really we'll talk, we'll talk. If any of you guys have the World Race movies downloaded, watch them in 360 video. I swear to God. <laughs> funniest thing yes. in the universe. Oh, yes. The great. Oh, yes. Dude, Chris that is the best. fun of that. Dude, we were I couldn't breathe. We were watching all the movies in 360 video. It is the best thing I've ever done in my life. Worth it. Oh my god, it's so worth it. Hey, it's just watch the top of the screen in ignition and watch tor tor get poured out like a pancake. <laughs> oh, this it's amazing. <laughs> That's just too, I could not do the necks. Like Nolo, Nolo turning his head as Torque rolls up and his neck just <laughs> giraffe around the corner. I have like a collection of screenshots from that. Okay, anyway. Okay, I'm about to mute anyway. all of y'all. I'm about to mute all of y'all. Goodness. Oh, all right. Why were you? <laughs> lastly, lastly, is there any place people can find you? Enigma, you can start us off again. Uh, 
I'm on YouTube, but I don't post that much. However, if you want to come watch any speedrun stuff I've done or any modding things, you can come check me out on YouTube. It's just Enigmatic Will. I stream on Twitch when I when I stream uh, at Enigmatic Will. Uh, if you would like to join and hang out with us on like the community Discord for speedrunning, both Stunt Track and World Race, you can find it at speedrun.com. Uh, it'll probably also be in the description of the, uh, the video, so you yep. can check that out too. Yep. And uh, same thing with both of them, I'm pretty sure, you guys, Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, well, I thanks have... for speaking for me. Yeah, I have... <laughs> oh, no, I'm just asking. Yeah. Go it was a question. Just to clarify, not on your Wall channel. Waltech, Waltech, you go first, you go first. Yeah, <laughs> not on Will's channel, my channel, <laughs> on both YouTube, I have a Twitch, I rarely use it, and I have a speedrun.com account, too, so you can check my uh, PBs on any game. Yeah, go check out his Lego speedruns. Yeah. yeah. Mm. His Lego speedruns are nuts. I'm doing Lego Island next year. Mm. No, I'm, not, right, I'm just kidding, not doing that. <laughs> Uh, my oh, you YouTube don't want to deliver pizza? No, I don't same. want to do an infinite turn. Y'all are interrupting. <laughs> Sorry. But, but, no, we're gonna but have pizza delivery. I can't say it on stream, but we're having words after this call. We have Goodness. words. I'm having them right now, though. <laughs> Valkyrie, please. Okay, you can find me on YouTube. It's the same as my, my Discord. It's out there. I'm mostly just posted my speedrun stuff on there right now. Might be stuff coming in the future. I don't know yet. But right now, I'm on the grind for Rookie League sub 12 mm. minute in game time. Okay. I'm at a 12.29 right now, I'm and I'm sure kind of just grinding that. ILs until I can get there, but I'm sure it's coming that. soon. All right, I'm that sounds that awesome. And you can find me on multiple different social medias, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, and so many more. Just look for J-A-Y-C-E-E -E squared. That's J-A-Y-C-E-E -E squared, J-C squared. And I also want to thank the members who are watching this before everyone else and are able to do so much more as well as get behind the scenes content if you want to be a member make sure to hit that join button down below if you're on youtube if you're on one of the podcasting websites spotify or something like that give me a five star and then go to youtube and hit the join button and then you'll be in this credit scene uh that is al seg accelerates ratchet rpg 01 roto the dragon lord and citrus 3 and with that any last words boys uh lego man <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, pizza, one thing pizza. I forgot to mention, one thing I forgot to mention <laughs> was, uh, if, you know, as we talked about it, if you do join the World Race speedrunning server, you can check the downloads page that we have there, and if you wanted to check out the patch that we mentioned that I had made, you uh, can yes. do so, it's free to download, yeah, you if just, you need you help PC setting PC. it up, yeah, just, and by decent we mean if it runs, if you can run paint, you can run this game. Congratulations, um, this doesn't ask much. You need it. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. point is, you, you go to the Discord, anyway. and you can download the patch. Or vanilla, or the base game. Or we vanilla. have it there, too. Okay. And with and Stunt Track. Gotcha. So. Oh, and Stunt anyway. Track. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you, JC, uh, Mr. Lego Man, for uh, bringing us on. Enjoyed enjoyed this a lot. Yeah, yeah I was well. This was fun. Well, I'm glad you I don't think fun. we're coming had... back on, but it was fun. <laughs> yeah, we're not, we're not coming back. He's banning us from the server. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm bye. getting rid of all your privileges. All right. No, with that's that, my privilege. With that cringe, we are out of here. Peace no. out, guys. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good Bye, day. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Or night, whoever, wherever you're watching this. This has been the Squared Corner Podcast. Music composed by Steve Rocket. Video and audio recording by Riverside.fm. Video and audio editing by JC Squared. Logo art by Miguel Martinez. And lastly, supported by you, the viewer. Thank you.